I think people need to feel more comfortable in the city they are. You shouldn't be scared to go and ride your bike in your community because it is yours. It's where we live and it's where we work, go to school, play every day. And if we don't feel safe in our communities, then how will we be comfortable and confident enough to explore the world? And it's very important to have young people in these conversations because at, at some point or another, you know, they're going to be taking over. Right now we're at the California Bike Summit. I am part of the Youth Leaders Program. We are here as youth advocates promoting to the summit that the youth has a voice on the conditions in our cities for walkers and bikers. There are nearly 300,000 people in the city of Santa Ana that use mobile transportation. People are always trying to go downtown. It's like a really easy street to ride on, but it's just not safe to. When the kids get out, the, uh, the congestion of the traffic uh, makes it unsafe. It's definitely opened my eyes to look at my community more in the infrastructure sense. Just recently, we had an open panel discussion with everyone in attendance. It's not just addressing the issues at hand, but it's also an opportunity to communicate with people who may have the resources to really have these changes come to life. A lot of um, the neighborhood of East LA suffers from different mobility and transportation issues. I come from a low-income household where my dad did ride his bike to work, you know, across town every single day. I think for me personally, it's been an incredible opportunity to really talk about the issues that, that I really care about and, and things that I'm interested in. There's so many people who are also willing to listen. People coming up to us after even our sessions and asking us more questions and handing us like their business cards and wanting to keep in touch and actually take action from what we're saying. And just being around with people who are, are, are doing the necessary advocacy work and really thinking about the, the future of alternative transportation has really given me a sense of optimism and hope. It's going to take a lot of willpower and also patience to really get these initiatives intact. And I want to be a part of that conversation.